Let's see what he can come up with here. The first man to qualify then, or attempt qualification, is the pole, Jan Sviatek. He will attack that first bend, taking a nice tight line. So difficult for the lead athlete, of course, in a time trial like this. You've just got to throw something down and see if that's good enough. Nothing to try and attack, nothing to try and beat. Just your own times in qualification, in practice, in warm-ups. And then you cross the line and you hope that that is good enough. It's not a particularly fast time. It may not need to be a particular... They've had their warm-ups. They know the track, but then getting down to serious business, it's so little to measure yourself against. Only Sphertex, rather pedestrian, 26.6 is on the board at the moment. So here goes Huang. Now it took him a little while to really open up the shoulders there going into that straight, and here he is back in to the bend discipline now he's getting things going but you don't have a lot of time to correct a mistake in the 300 meter sprint you've just got to go for it flat out and he has registered 24.9 as I said earlier that sphere tech time so D'Souza he's underway very short, compact, good low center of gravity. Now starts to open things up a little bit down that straight. A little stumble there. But he really has come off the blocks really fast. You do see some athletes that are pretty good over the first 100 meters then fade out. Let's see if D'Souza is going to be one of those or whether he can just carry that through. Well, he just faded out a little bit. But he too has logged a very, very useful time. Guzman, the Venezuelan, who is reported to be pretty useful, but Ofishalski takes centre stage here. And in an ideal world, we'll be looking for a low 25 second there, because that will certainly be good enough to get him through. Uh, terrific technique here from Ofishalski. He needs to keep it cranked up, though, through this last 150. He needs to try and make up a bit of ground if he can. Ofishalski getting terrific support. And he comes in at 26.4. He drifted away a little bit. Well, he gets in inside. So, Wenger. Will be oblivious to the news that we're hearing that uh, Ofishalski has actually been disqualified, which will make qualification even easier now for these skaters. We'll see if we can get confirmation on that. Uh, Wenger coming around and just stretching there at 25.7. Tremendous occasion athletes in a variety of sports from around the world. And Guzman attacks that first bend. And that opens it up. It's a good time that Guzman's putting in here. 38 kilometers an hour through the first 100 meters. They're certainly capable of cranking that up into the 44s. And Guzman's 24.4 is terrific. Shows what he's capable of. The sole representative for his nation in this discipline. Now let's see what he can come up with anything inside the 26.689 of Jan Sviatek will be good enough following the disqualification of Gavel Ofishalski earlier qualification has been made even simpler you just got to avoid 
finishing bottom of the pile. And uh, you've also got to avoid going off too early as well. Now, sometimes a false start can really mess with an athlete mentally. It can throw them completely off. I wouldn't have thought that uh, Marara here should be too concerned by that, given the circumstances. All he's got to do is have a clean skate, and he should be comfortably through. But you never know. Sometimes these things can just niggle in the mind of a finely tuned athlete. Hopefully it won't, for the sake of this young man from Portugal. So Marairoche is generating some momentum and just freewheeling a little bit around the bend. And again there, it's not going to be a particularly fast time, but it's certainly going to be plenty good enough to get inside what he needs. 25.7. Well, that'll put him into fourth place. Just moving ahead of. Let's see if Cow can join them. Now he's underway. Just drifting a little bit wide there, but getting terrific momentum with the arms there, just gliding through the bend. He's looking really smooth here, Cow. Again, just drifting out, but taking that momentum to go wide with him. That's impressive. Lost a little bit in the second half. Well, I don't think he's going to be too concerned about that. And dreams can be shattered. Uh, Mareshi attacking his first bend. Taking it nice and steady. Now, let's see what he can do over the second half of this 300 metres. That's not the sharpest around that bend. He's going to comfortably qualify, but he's going to have to sharpen things up considerably if he wants to be on the podium. Moreshi's 25.943. Piano of Argentina. The event currently being dominated by South American skaters. Silva Santibanez. Another one of those fairly squat, compact skaters. That's a useful looking time. That's third fastest through the first 100. Now, what has he done in the second half of the event? Well, he's maintained. So he moves into third place. 24 in special here. Off he goes. Looks like he's off pretty quick. Interesting to see what his 100 meter split is as well. As he does like to start fast, Jimenez, that is fast. Third fastest, Guzman and Cow were faster through the first 100. And taking it nice and steady around that bend as well. So not pouring it on here, Jimenez, but still getting a very, very useful time indeed. 24.554, and he certainly had more in his tank as well if he needed it. Serious medal contenders. So if qualification is all just about times and taking a look at some of the form of some of the main contenders, the final really will be mouth-watering. There's Capayano looking to ensure that he's in the final. He looks like unlikely to trouble the top four here, you would think. A fifth place finish, the best Capayano will be able to achieve, you would think. Taking it nice and steady, and in fact, he just drifts out a little bit. He just took it easy through the final 150 there and a ninth place finish for Capayano. So he's uh, drifted away past and out of and beyond Moreiros and Wenger, the Swiss man, into ninth. So on that form, we are not looking at a potential medalist. He really will have to improve dramatically in this afternoon's final if he wants to be among the, uh, the medalists. 
but still good enough to book his place but not and you're gonna have a pretty good ranking so the key for Albrecht will be to try and beat 25 seconds and maybe just nudge a few hundreds of a second off that as well to get himself a top five spot the top four seem away and clear you've got to hit 24.6 or thereabouts to be top four and he's made a very solid start here Albrecht now can Albrecht carry this on through here that's the second fastest through 100 and he's finished second overall as well well Albrecht has certainly shown that he can mix it with the big boys as well seventh place finish just a thousandth of a second which you believe outside of 25 seconds they really do measure these things so accurately and a thousandth of a second here or there can be the difference between where you finish and if you're on the podium or if you're off it and Le Piver has gone off with his characteristic quick start not as quick as he can normally manage as well that's fourth fastest here and he's certainly capable of a little bit better than that. So Le Piver looking to join the leaders on the board and will do exactly that. He will jump to the top of the leaderboard. Well, he looks...